So here we have to determine the mass of a lot of molecules of zinc hydroxide, 8.70 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, and we want to figure out how many grams that is. Now I don't see the word mole here. I got mass and I got molecules, but not mole. So that means I'm going to have to do a two-step conversion. I'm going to start up here with all these particles, all these molecules, and I'm going to convert those molecules to moles, and then I'm going to convert from moles to mass. So I got to do two steps, particles to moles, moles to mass. And I'm going to make sure I use the right conversion factors. So let's start off with where we're going. We're trying to get to grams. We want to know the mass in grams of all of these zinc hydroxide molecules. So I'm going to start with the amount that I've got, 8.70 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. All right, molecules is going to go on the bottom so it can cancel out. Now I know that one mole is a lot of molecules. One mole is always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, just like one dozen is always 12, and one pair is always two. One mole is always this. Now I gotta cancel out moles. Molecules are gone. I gotta cancel out moles, so I strategically put mole down here. One mole is equal to a certain number of grams. Now that's where I have to look on the periodic table, because I gotta figure out the molar mass of zinc hydroxide. So I'm gonna look at my formula, and I'm going to figure out how many of each atom I have, or in this case, ions. Now, there's no number after the Zn, so there's only one zinc. Now, the OH is in parentheses, and outside the parentheses is a 2, so that means there's really two hydroxides. So I could distribute, there's two oxygens and there's two hydrogens to figure out how many there are. And if you get stuck, just draw it out. There's a two after the parentheses, so draw two of whatever's in the parentheses, and then just count. One, two. Now I look on the periodic table, and I realize that zinc has a molar mass of 65.4. There's only one of them, so it's still 65.4 for a subtotal. Oxygen, each one's 16 grams, and there's two of them, so that's a subtotal of 36 grams. And hydrogen, 1.0, and there's two of them, so 2.0. And then I add this all together, and I get 99.4 grams. That's one mole of this particular substance, zinc hydroxide. So that goes here. Anytime you have grams, you're looking on the periodic table. So molecules cancels, moles cancels, grams are left, which is good, because that's what I want to end with. And when I'm all done, and I keep one, two, three sig figs, my answer is 144 grams. So 144 grams is the mass that's equal to that many molecules.